Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and the federal judge, Tanya Chutkin, in the case, the D.C. criminal case of former President Donald Trump, has issued a massive ruling that's absolutely going to shake up the case. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So the judge in this case originally had set a deadline for sometime this week for there to be a hearing over the protective order that Jack Smith is seeking against former President Donald Trump. Now, this protective order, if you've watched my videos before, I've explained it. If you're new, I'll explain it real quick again. This protective order is not your typical protective order where you're worried about somebody coming to hurt you. This protective order would stop Trump from revealing certain things about the evidence in his case. So the Trump team said, look, one of our attorneys is not available this week. Can we just have the hearing next week? A simple request. Jack Smith's team said, we're available all week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when you want to do it, meaning this week. The judge, once again, and this would be coming a pattern here, sided with Jack Smith and set the hearing date for Friday. So she'll hear the evidence on Friday from Smith's team, from Trump's team about a protective order. Now, of course, Trump's team does not want a protective order. Why? Because the argument is it limits his First Amendment rights. And, and I tend to agree with that argument. Because you're going to have people in the news media, his opponents on the Democrat side, his opponents on the Republican side, attacking him over this case. And as they're attacking him, they're going to be casting aspersions about the case. They're going to be giving their opinions on the case. And then you're telling him he can't respond to that. That, to me, is crazy. That does seem to limit his First Amendment rights as far as I'm concerned. And I think this judge is proving time and again that she's going to side with Jack Smith's team in terms of not postponing things. Obviously, you know, Trump's team wants to kick the can down the road a little bit, right? Because they don't want to have to deal with this right now. They want to get to the election first. Well, Smith's team and the Democrats really want this to hurry up because they would love a conviction before the election. And, you know, I mean, Washington, D.C. is as good a place as any to get a conviction if you're looking to convict a Republican, right? So I think that you know, the preponderance of all this put together, this is not bode well for Trump. I think when you see what this, this judge keeps doing, that this is going to be a tough, tough case for Trump. You couple that with the D.C. jury that I'm not certain can give him a fair trial, and he's not certain can give him a fair trial. And I think you have all the ingredients for a hurricane, basically, of, of bad news for former President Trump. And I pray I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong. But I've often told you guys, the evidence doesn't matter as much as the jury and the judge matter. And the case, the, the, the solidity of the case doesn't even matter as much as the judge and jury matter. Do you guys think this judge is going to give him a fair shake? Let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.